I'm just a guy who loves Disney and has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm File91E and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm File91E. I know, I know, I'm a couple weeks late. Uh, I was supposed to have a Halloween episode, but well, um... Actually, just Halloween happened. Uh, we, you know, it just took over my whole weekend, and you know, getting ready, getting everything set up, going out, getting the last final things for the party. Uh, we do it up pretty big in my house, if you don't know, every year. And uh, well, I just couldn't. I didn't have the time, uh, so figured I'd do it now. Why not? Um, I think there was another week between that. Again, I don't. I just didn't have the time. I was invited to go out, so I decided to go out. Uh, that's the way it's going to be from here on out, guys. There's no more regular shows when I just feel like hey, doing a show or, I don't know, talking about something. I'm going to just uh, go ahead and do it. So this will kind of be a little bit of a Halloween episode because I'm talking about something that could be scary, uh, but not really. Uh, so I'm just kind of just going to go do my own thing. All right? Cool. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of stuff about me. Uh, recently got my CAT scan done. And uh, hey, no head tumors, all right? You know, I, I told you guys that I had a uh, um, some swelling in my op optic disc regions of my eyes, and uh, they couldn't figure out what it was. They wanted to rule out cancer or tumors or something in my brain, so I went and got a CAT scan because I'm too scared to do an MRI. I just get claustrophobic. Uh, but yeah, so um, no, they didn't find anything in there. Uh, my the frontal lobe of my brain is just a little swollen so um, I have to go get a lumbar puncture next week so there won't be an episode next week because um, I'm getting stabbed in the back on Friday and hey don't want to be having to deal with you know editing and stuff like that so yeah um, uh, but yeah so other than that everything's gonna be going good I'm just gonna have to go to a neurologist for pretty much the rest of my life just to yeah, so we can monitor my brain other than that, it's, uh, it's, you know, good stuff. So, yeah, speaking of editing, I'm still am editing the, uh, the, the trip video. Uh, part one is almost done, the, the arrival day. Uh, some days are going to be mixed with others because uh, I, I just didn't have a lot of footage. For instance, the uh, day off day, really didn't have a lot of footage there. That's just going to Di uh, Disney Springs. And um, then there's, you know, like the actual hurricane day, didn't really do anything. You know, so I might mix those two just to kind of, you know, lengthen it, make it a, a decent video. Don't want to put up a two-minute video uh, because I'm not a standard YouTuber or I don't play video games. So, it is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, so just keep an eye out for that. I'm working on them. And also, one thing I want to try to do in December is I want to try to do one small video a day. It's going to be pretty interesting, mainly because, or at least up until... Um, uh, December 24th uh, mainly because I have this th I showed you this this is a Star Wars or Lego Star Wars uh, advent calendar if you don't know what an advent calendar is basically every day there is a little thing you know it's a weird tradition with that sort of religion I don't know uh, basically just every day you get a little present and you can put it then you can and you, and you can you know do something with it so this is a Lego thing so you get a little mini figure you can put it together and they have a ton of really cool figures uh, oh um, I saw it online that's what I did so they have like everything in here like a slave one and a uh, you know a c3po a speeder bike there's also a cool holiday snow Chewbacca that's pretty cool so I can't wait to see that to, to get that one uh, so basically from December 1st to the 24th, I'm going to be doing a small little video. I might talk and I might not. Basically just pulling that open, seeing what we get, putting it together, showing it to you. End of story. Hopefully it won't be any more than two minutes. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. See if I can keep that up. Uh, it's going to be tough, but I think I can figure that out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what's, you know, what's been going on with me. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Um, so yeah, let's get right to the news. Got a bunch of news. Uh, 
With the passing of Election Day, the 45th President of the United States was selected, and it's only a matter of time before President-elect Donald Trump is put into the Hall of Presidents. There have been uh, a six. There has been a six-long month refurbishment plan for the Hall of Presidents for a while, so it's already been kind of planned. Uh, it looks to, uh, to last until the end of June, just in time for the Fourth of July to open back up. And I'm sure Disney is already scheduling time to get President Trump's likeness and speech down for his induction into the Hall of Presidents. Uh, as of now, though, there isn't uh, hasn't been any official word from Disney on the addition, but uh, you know it still is closed and everything. So. Uh, you know, they haven't officially come out and said, yes, that's what they're doing, but, I mean, they've done it with everybody else, so, yeah. Walt Disney World is launching a new marketing campaign for the fall and into 2017 called The Magic is Endless. That's pretty cool. Uh, the new marketing showcases uh, the parks, resorts, and some of the uh, Disney World's lesser-known experiences, such as the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Uh, commercials are airing on TV now with more to come in 2017, so keep on the lookout for that. As like every year, Disney has gone all out for Christmas. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party at the Magic Kingdom has begun and decorations are up at Disney's Hollywood Studios and the rest of the parks. Uh, be sure to check out YouTube and some of my other favorite Disney sites to see uh, all the shows from this year. They uh, posted them up, you know, www.magic.com, Inside the Magic on YouTube here. They've done a, everybody's post them up. I really don't have to anymore because there's the Disney presence on the on, on, online and on YouTube and everything. Just it's it's huge. Disney will be performing its first drone show at Disney Springs for the holidays. This is interesting. The new show has been in development for some time with Disney working alongside experts in the field uh, with expert ex or experience in drone based shows. Um, no information has been released but according to those familiar with the situation look for a, a debut in mid-November with uh, viewing areas to be uh, likely located in the marketplace area. Disney has recently received FAA clearance to begin drone shows at, the, at its U.S. theme parks. Disney has released a trailer, which you can now see via YouTube. It's kind of what was playing right over there. Uh, looks pretty interesting. Uh, I've been talking uh, the last couple months, especially, all, I think upwards of a year, that Disney has been trying to get a drone show um, in its parks. And uh, this is the first of its kind, so... Uh, who knows maybe expect maybe you know drones uh, as a part of the parades i don't know there's a new parade coming to disney uh, or the magic kingdom soon we think obviously so that could be something interesting a new little magical addition so that's pretty cool the jingle cruise the holiday overlay edition of the jungle cruise has opened for the 2016 christmas season at the magic kingdom Debuting in 2013, the Jingle Cruise is back for another year, which sees holiday props, music, and script changes added to the traditional Jungle Cruise attraction in Adventureland. That's always fun. Check it out. The Academy of Tele uh, Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame at Disney's Hollywood Studio is now behind construction walls. Disney has not yet made any official announcement, but it's speculated that the exhibit is being removed. Um, this is all part of the Ho Hollywood Studios overlay. Uh, I mean, this is amazing. All this, you know, they're, this is, they're just clearing land out now. Uh, expect other things to kind of go that way. So, yeah. The Kali River Rapids at Disney's Animal Kingdom is scheduled to close for nearly a month in early 2017. Uh, the refurbishment is set to begin on January 3rd through to January 29th, reopening to guests on January 30th. That's a cool, it's a cold month to go down there anyway. Um, you know, so shouldn't be too much of a loss. Now, I actually have a couple, a little bit of Disneyland news. This is some pretty interesting stuff. So, uh, over at Disneyland, Christmas decorations are going up as well. Be sure to check out MiceChat.com for some awesome, uh, awesome picture updates uh, on the park. They really do a, a great job with that. Uh, I love the addition to the snow on the castle. That's actually really cool. Um, also, it's a, it, or sorry, it's a Small World Holiday is up and running. It was closed for a few weeks to put the overlay on for guests, and the Jingle Cruise is also up as well, so they're going full Christmas over there. Uh, Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy uh, has gone, but it's now back to the original Space Mountain, so that's always fun. Uh, and I also will have to mention the uh, uh, Haunted Mansion Holiday, as it will not experience any downtime between the holidays. Uh, the Haunted Mansion Holiday will continue to operate through to January, or through January 8th. So, um, yeah, the, the, the one cool thing about the Haunted Mansion Holiday overlay is that it goes from a, uh, uh, 
uh, Halloween all the way through Christmas. Uh, they don't really have to change anything. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The Disneyland Railroad is still closed, as are the Rivers of America, because of the Star Wars Land addition to Disneyland. Both will reopen with new track layouts next summer, so a lot of people are gearing up in uh, anticipation of this. It should be pretty cool. Now here is the you know one of the cooler things I want to talk about. In Disney's California Adventure, uh, they were setting up what looked to be a similar thing to the Food and Wine Festival in Epcot. Apparently it just started. Uh, it's uh, called the Festival of Holidays. Uh, little kiosks are going up and going to feature all different kinds of food and such, maybe drinks and all along that line. Uh, this looks pretty cool and may warrant me heading back to Disneyland sooner than I had originally thought. I love the Food and Wine Festival uh, and, and the fact that they're doing this over there is kind of really neat. I would like to see it and hope that it uh, gains momentum. Uh, if any of my Disneyland peeps are, are, are going to attend or have attended, uh, so, since this is news to me, just please post in the comments, let me know what you think. Um, I'd really like to check that out. That could be cool, so just kind of let me know. Uh, so yeah, moving on, a new World of Color Christmas show has debuted this week called the World of Color Season of Light. Looks to be pretty neat. They you know, posted uh, you know, videos and all on that. And um, aside from Halloween, uh, holiday decorations going up all around the parks, that's about it. If I miss something from Disneyland, please let me know. Um, I try to include some form of Disneyland every now and then, uh, Disneyland news. And MiceChat.com is pretty much the only thing or uh, place I can go to get real good uh, Disneyland news. I've also subscribed to the Disneyland subreddit. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the news for this week. Let's get right to the reviews. All right, guys, what I want to talk to you about today is a ride that's no longer there. I was uh, fortunate enough on my first day there uh, when I went to Disney World this year to be one of the last people to ride this attraction, and that's Stitch's Great Escape. Uh, so I'm going to give it a proper review, even though it's not really there anymore. It's running seasonally, which is basically, you know, code for we're only going to open it when it's really busy. And this is going to go bye-bye soon. So, Stitch's Great Escape. Here's what these guys say. A theater in the round sci-fi adventure show. A minor attraction. Go before 11 a.m. or after 6 p.m. Or try during parades. Frightens children of all ages. Switching off option provided. They said P.U. As in P.U. Two stars. <sighs> Stitch's Great Escape. I guess this is going to be more like a eulogy uh, than a review. So I should just go off and, uh, and just say this used to be the, uh, or this is located in Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World. And this used to be the space that, uh, you know, that was occupied by the extra uh, extraterrestrial alien encounter thing. Uh, that ride did not do well because it scared the living crap out of every kid or some adults that went to it and um, just didn't work out after a while and uh, Disney kind of pulled the plug on that and they said well we got a we got this space we have these seats uh, we don't want to completely demolish this thing and then because we have no idea what to do let's switch it with a different alien hey guys we just had made a new alien movie called Lilo and Stitch let's use Stitch in there basically this is a pre a, a prequel to Lilo and Stitch as to how Stitch escaped and wound up on earth or uh, so, you know, so that's you know that's the idea of it um, I've never had to wait a long uh, a, a long time for this ride uh, this was one of those ones that uh, it was there was always like a five minute wait and that was just to wait until the end of the next show that goes in because this holds a lot of people uh, like they said, it's a theater in the round show, which means you, it's everybody sitting in a uh, in a circle, and there's like a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this also used to be like the flight to Mars ride, where you basically were flying to Mars. You would sit in the circle, and you'd you know get to see you know, look down and see what's happening, and then you would look up and see what's happening. You're flying to Mars again. It didn't really work out. Seems that whatever's in this space really doesn't work out. Um, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, so you go in, uh, there's an, uh, an animatronic there, 
he just basically kind of tells you what you're going, you know, about to experience, and that's basically the idea of teleportation. They're, that is how they transport uh, bad guys. They teleport them, and uh, obviously nothing can go wrong. Obviously nothing can go wrong. So when you go into the actual space, um, you know, you sit in the, you know, in, in the seats. These, this thing comes down automatically over you, and there's like surround sound in your ears, so you hear everything. And um, sure enough, uh, they, you know, the the alien that they're transporting, uh, you know, to the space is. Stitch. Uh, this is like your first day on the job, so you have no idea what's going on. And Stitch, rain, you know, wreaks havoc. He causes the the um, auto cannons thing, the auto, you know, gun turrets to go haywire, and he starts running around. He burps in your face, and you feel him running around because of the, uh, the you know, the, you know, like the head, the, the shoulder rest. They, it's all animated. Now, it's part of that's kind of interesting. There are certain parts of it that are kind of funny, but. Uh, for the most part, it's just like, ah, it's cool. And uh, it's really dark, so uh, unfortunately it scares a lot of kids. Uh, it's meant to be more funny than anything else, but uh, kids don't really get that. They just are scared of the dark. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, they catch Stitch again, and then he winds up teleporting somewhere, and he winds up uh, on Earth. So that's kind of what happens you know you see stitch and he's on the castle outside it's like oh look he's right outside but it's daytime and you're watching this at nighttime oh this is that's ah, supposed to be funny <laughs> they you know release you and then you go so yeah this ride has would never really took off with people uh i know a lot of people that like stitch and therefore they like the attraction just because this is a stitch attraction um but Overall, it really wasn't anything, and that's really part of the reason, the main part of the reason why it decided, you know, it was always the weakest link in Tomorrowland, and, uh, you know, they just decided to get rid of it. So, yes, this is going on October 2nd. It, uh, was, it officially was designated a seasonal ride, which means it's there, it could be operational, but it's only going to be operational during really busy days. Uh, like uh, Christmas and New Year's and things like that if they have to move people but the last you know group that could go in to see it as a regular attraction was actually my group and uh, well I, I think there might have been one more after me I'm not totally sure uh, but uh, I knew I was one of the last because it was really late when uh, we got on Stitch's Great Escape and uh, it was a lot of rain it was a lot of rain uh, that you know, so that was that was good. We were soggy, and it was, uh, it was it was very good. There was a lot of girls in there, or young teens, going like this, and then there was a. We just kept during through the whole attraction, just hearing, "Please put your your cell phones away." You over there, put your cell phones away. Put, please put your cell phones away. Okay, please put your cell phones away. Literally, I swear to God, I heard that ten times during the one showing of Stitch's Great Escape that I saw. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's going to be a Wreck-It Ralph attraction. We don't know what it's going to be. Hope I'm hoping they will just demolish it and just redo it with something new and fresh. Please don't have it be... A thing in the circle again look I get the I get it you know I don't know if, if the infrastructure is built on that I don't know why they haven't just changed it but I'm hoping that they do something new and fresh because it's just stupid it's stupid but if it's uh if it's gonna be Wreck-It Ralph chances are it'll be interactive video game sort of something so that could be fun uh, either way yes so what am I going to give Stitch's Great Escape they got it right two stars it's not terrible there are some good things in it they actually make some form of an effort and it's not you know uh you know there's no expense to it like the uh, unlike the uh, frontierland shooting arcade which you have to pay money for uh but yeah this wasn't terrible but it wasn't good either and uh it was on the worser side of not so good uh so yeah that's why it's two stars uh but it's not there anymore so since this is a eulogy i think i should uh, we should all bow our heads while I give, say some final words 
for the departing of the regular Stitches Great Escape attraction. Here we go. Farewell, Stitches Great Escape. You were the weakest link of Tomorrowland, and I'm happy to see you go. While your body and guts may rot and wither and not be used for a long time and will eventually be torn out and replaced with something else. Your spirit will live on as the place that housed two of the worst attractions in the Magic Kingdom. But at least you will be reborn again like the Phoenix into a Wreck-It Ralph attraction worthy of the Magic Kingdom. So in closing, in Walt's name, we say, see ya real soon. <sighs> Best not wallow in our grief. There you go. Stitch's Great Escape, two stars. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Disney news and reviews. I will try to do um, a, a, another show probably the week at the week like the days after Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving uh, and all that you know I hope you have a good time especially if you're here in America Thanksgiving is a fun time uh, probably that Saturday I'll do something uh, or that Friday whichever one because I'm off that day who, who knows it might even be um, Thanksgiving night I'm not sure but I want to try to put one out that weekend because I have a lot of time off and I don't plan on doing a whole lot uh, but I do want to do some Black Friday shopping. I'm not going on Thursday. I will go on Friday. I do not support the whole Thursday people. I don't like that. Uh, I know some people don't really care because they want to save their money. But I'm sorry. I worked. I used to work retail and I've worked on Thanksgiving and it was never fun. I didn't, I didn't like it. So yeah, if you are off on Thanksgiving, enjoy it. And if you're not, I hope you can enjoy your day somehow too so yeah if anybody from disney is watching please don't sue me i want people to go down to disney world or to disneyland and have a great time uh, i know stitch's great escape isn't there but you're going to replace it with something so it's going to be fun either way uh yeah so if you are going to disney world or disneyland be sure to go to allers.net touringplans.com wdwmagic.com for all your latest and greatest disney news that's where i go and i go to micechat.com for my disneyland news uh and uh, obviously, WaltDisneyWorld.com and Disneyland.com are some great websites as well. I try to give you that each time. So if you're new to this whole thing uh, and going to Disney World and watching my shows and stuff like that, I just want people to go. So go. Have fun. I'm still doing my Disney vacation account. I have like $140 in there already. And by two years from now, I will be back in the Magic Kingdom. Yes. Around December. I want to go during December. So yeah, uh, happy Thanksgiving everybody, and I hope to have another show out soon, and wish me luck on my Spinal Tap coming up this Friday. Really excited. 9am. <sighs> yep. See you guys.